What is up everyone, it's Adrian here from I Am Jador TV and uh, boy oh boy, do I have a topic today. Uh, cancellations, <laughs> I know uh, pro photographers, um, hobbyist photographers, beginner photographers, we've all had uh, a worst case scenario of the, the case of the cancelled models, should we say. Uh, obviously, before going into this, I was, I'd just like a disclaimer, there obviously are legit reasons why a model will cancel um, abruptly or just before your shoot on the day of the shoot while you're on the way to the shoot there are genuine obviously genuine reasons and obviously we all know how to distinguish who is telling the truth or not but we've all had the ones where we we know they are talking complete rubbish like we've all i'm sure all of us have been on the way to a shoot literally just about to leave the door and the model's cancelled and um that's happened it hasn't happened to me in a long while as um i don't really collab and if i do i collab with the day ones so uh the, my my regular models that i know will not let me down will not do that and if they did have to cancel they'd it'll be well in advance and obviously i know it'd be for legit reasons and that's why I usually stick to if I do want to collaborate with a model, which means a free shoot, um, I stick to a certain um, models for that. But when it comes to uh, cancellations and, and, and new models or models you haven't worked with before, this kind of is the reason why a lot of pro photographers that I know and even me personally don't really like to collab because it is a... Uh, because there's no obligation to turn up there's no financial uh, gain from it or they're not spending anything it, it's likely to happen because i remember when i was coming up in photography i used to arrange 10 to 15 <laughs> collabs a month and i know that maybe at the most five of those will actually happen so i used to over prepare because i knew that a lot would cancel or flake at the last minute so uh as lockdown obviously there's not been much shoots to do at all so uh obviously it's my passion so i still want to shoot so obviously there's been a couple of times during this pandemic where people have cancelled uh last minute i mean there's repeat offenders should i say i remember this particular model years ago cancelled she even cancelled this is the worst thing about it which i find uh, so disrespectful and rude and earned yourself on the blacklist as a uh, I arranged a shoot with a model I was literally on the way to the shoot and um, I got to the destination of the shoot actually I waited I messaged the model like hey what's going on where are you um, just left on scene no explanation like nothing like at all from that day I just obviously I, I went back home um, obviously I unfollowed the model because it's just disrespectful she saw the message as well that's the, like that was the um, the what the the bit that as well that was just like uh then hit the nail on the head for me and again like years later <laughs> i had another run-in with this model in fact i wasn't shooting the model another photographer so we was gonna kind of do like a joint shoot i had a model i wish i was bringing to the shoot he had a model that he was bringing to the shoot but we were we live in the same area so we was gonna travel to uh this location uh to shoot and for some reason i in my bones i just knew <laughs> that, that the model that obviously he was working with which was the one years ago that i just said that i left me hanging i just knew in my bones that i was like nah she's not gonna do it again like it's years later um this model's worked with a lot of um mutual photographers like it's not gonna happen again but something in me knew just knew <laughs> that she was gonna do it again and lo and behold she uh, didn't turn up again, no explanation, um, replied I think to the other photographer of course, I think replied hours after the time was even meant to arrive and this was a long journey as well, it wasn't anywhere, I'm ba we're uh, based in London, it was nowhere near London and uh, so yeah that affected my shoot even because the other photographer was driving so <laughs> we um had to cancel that shoot and i had to cancel my model so that's twice with this individual that i've had to cancel a shoot and to me that that definitely holds 
a place in the Hall of Fame of Blacklist like that. You're not you're not coming out of it for me at all. But um, I just like to know how everyone else handles uh, cancel cancellations or, or or models that don't turn up, and you know it's a reason that there is it's not legit. Because for me, it's just common decency to have the respect of the photographer and vice versa as well to just not waste someone's time like you wouldn't ignore someone in their face like you wouldn't walk up to someone have a conversation look them blank in the eye and then just walk away without do you know what i mean it's weird behavior to do and i think it's, it's just a, i mean it's a testament to how you're raised as well to me personally i just find it so disrespectful to not just have the common courtesy to just send a message and this is the situation i'm so sorry can we rearrange it and half of the time you know it's not legit because they don't do that even if they do um message you and uh say hey this is the reason it's never this is the reason can we reschedule for such on such day they kind of just leave it and it's just like you, you you kind of know but um i'd like to know what, what's your what's you guys experience i want you to comment below your your worst experience and i'll probably do a reaction to it if, if i get enough down in the comments below you tell me what's happened i'll do a reaction to it and um we'll go through that but uh yeah it's just uh it's just one of those things you know as a photographer you just have to it depends you can take it on the chin obviously it depends on how it happened or the situations happened i've never had anything too serious but for me personally and other to watching this i'm probably sure people have families you've got children you've got do you know what i mean you've got important things to do with your time and to someone to just waste it and not even have the common courtesy to tell you the reason or just to leave you hanging is do you know what I mean it, to me that's just the lowest of the low for me and that's just like it's just the ultimate disrespect I personally wouldn't work with those models again there's a lot of people that do and this is actually why in the community I don't know about where the community where you are wherever you're watching this but the community here is models do get away with it a lot here in London just for the simple fact is they're they may be gorgeous models and they know that they're gonna get photographers like that in like that to do that again and I think we need to kind of stamp that out kind of have do you know what I mean some pride some some sort of morals because uh the more we let this go on the more it's just going to keep happening uh but yeah I want to know your guys experience comment below I want to see uh how and how would you deal with these sort of situations as well comment your worst uh experience and how you dealt with it and uh hopefully we can do a reaction to this but uh this is another quick one a quick Jador talks should I should I call this series don't know give me a name for these kind of series below as well and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one